continuing to get a different perspective of Orion and the European service module as those solar array wings continue to move. As with nearly everything else during Artemis 1, the two main objectives for the imagery system is to capture the flight test objective data and ensure we have a safe built vehicle for crew to fly on. Really starting to be able to make out that solar array wing now in the bottom left, now more middle of your screen. And you're seeing there on your screen our first Earth views. This view of Earth captured from a human-rated spacecraft not seen since 1972 during the final Apollo mission some 50 years ago. The views of our blue marble in the blackness of space now capturing the imagination of a new generation, the Artemis generation. Orion looking back at Earth as it travels toward the moon 57,000 miles away from the place we call home. And as we continue to marvel in this spectacular image here in Mission Control Houston, you have a great view of the orbital maneuvering system or Ohm's engine, that main engine on the top left of your screen there that was used an hour and 43 minutes ago to perform the OTC or out bound trajectory correction maneuver, as well as a few of the auxiliary engines on the bottom of the European service module, flanked by the solar array, ring, solar array wing on the right portion, right above the Earth on your screen. And here are some statistics on Orion, now 57,000 miles away from Earth, nearly 58,000 miles away, and 203,000 miles away from the moon, traveling at 5,459 miles per hour.
If you're just tuning in with us, you're looking at a breathtaking live view of the Earth from the Orion spacecraft as it makes its journey to the moon. Orion launched earlier today at 12.47 a.m. Central, 1.47 a.m. Eastern atop the Space Launch System and is in hour nine and a half of its 25-day test flight mission.